Hi, yeah. So a common need in WordPress or a request that you might have a client make is to change your permalink structure. You can see here on uh, this website that we're using the slug only permalink structure. Um, but there are tons of different ways you can have your posts permalinked. So if we log in real quick. All right, so I'm on the WordPress dashboard of that same site. And I, if I come in here and I go to settings permalinks, and every site will have settings. A lot of them will have fewer of these little things at the side. You can see that we've got post name selected. This is uh, what I personally prefer um, for a whole bunch of reasons, primarily around uh, that this lets me edit posts and revise them and keep them at the same URL because perfect URLs don't change. That said, you might like date and name, date and name sort of permalinks. So if I had a new site, I might think very hard about having things like this where people can look at all your 2019 stories, all your August stories, all your 23rd stories. That sort of structure in the URL is one of the really cool things about WordPress that I used to love a lot. And now that I'm in the SEO game, I don't love as much. But all you need to do to save your settings is basically switch to one of these and hit save. Where it gets complicated and where you might need to uh, understand a little more uh, than this is that this setting doesn't necessarily and inherently take care of what we call URL forwarding, which is where if you've switched URL structures, uh, sites, site URLs might not work. So if, we're, if say Google already knows th that your URL is uh, something like this 2019.03 sample post and you move it to sample post, your server might need to tell Google, hey, it's here. Um, and you can just test that pretty easily. If you change the setting and you go Google your site, all your URLs break, you know that you've got to figure out what a redirect is. And we have a quick guide that I'll link on the quick guide page on our site um, that explains a little bit more about how you might do that if you are switching from day and name to post name type permalinks. You can also build custom permalinks. So a common thing that people might want to do is put a category in your URL. It's as easy as clicking that button with your cursor in the right place and then, you know, again, clicking save changes. I do want you to be careful about this 301 redirect losing Google juice kind of problem. But other than that, you are all set. Cheers.